How's it going, Savage Life family? Today we're going to be talking about why Ethereum Classic is undervalued at the current moment. And for those of you who tend to listen to the whole 51% misconception, and if that backed you away from Ethereum Classic as a hodler, made you sell your bags, then I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link of a video in the top right corner of the screen that explains the whole misconceptions regarding the 51% attacks on Ethereum Classic if you haven't have watched it as of yet. So we are going to be talking about why Ethereum Classic is undervalued and then I'm going to be looking at some technical charts explaining at this $54 price point where Ethereum Classic should be compared to Bitcoin's $54,000 price points in relation to it. So taking a look at Ethereum Classic, we're first gonna go ahead and start with Grayscale and why this is important. Now, Grayscale is the largest digital currency investment company and the rulers and controllers of Grayscale is DCG, which is Digital Currency Group. Digital Currency Group also owns Coindesk and a handful of other corporations and companies in the investment world. Now, why is this important? It is important because Grayscale's third largest holding is Ethereum Classic with 12.24 million Ethereum Classic. And belief that is a Litecoin, which is at 1.57 million Litecoin. Now, the total holdings doesn't matter in comparison to the whole total holdings of the money. And if we're talking about money, it's $670 million worth of ETC compared to $282 million worth of Litecoin. Now, since they've been in the game since the beginning, of course, the coins with the longest credit history and repertoire are going to be their largest holdings, meaning Bitcoin and Ethereum since Ethereum derived in 2015 and Bitcoin derived in 2009, they're going to have the largest holdings of Bitcoin and the largest holdings of Ethereum. But surprisingly, regardless of Litecoin coming out in 2011, they upped their bags higher on Ethereum Classic than their Litecoin holdings and even to this day they continue to buy shares of grayscale ethereum classics trust now why is it they are buying shares why is it they're continuing to add to their bags regardless of what's happening behind the scenes for ethereum classic now since 2017 grayscale has funded ethereum classics developers donating over 1 million to the etc cooperative from the trust management fees Developers have used the funding to add Ethereum-based updates to Ethereum Classic and improve interoperability between ETC. So that's why you see Ethereum Classic receiving all the upgrades Ethereum has been receiving up to this day is due to Grayscale's funding and is due to Ethereum Classic's compatibility with Ethereum. So if we go ahead and flat out compare it to a handful of coins, let's start off with comparing Ethereum Classic to Dogecoin for say, which Dogecoin's market cap is at 32 billion compared to Ethereum Classic at $7 billion in market cap. The reason Dogecoin market cap is so massive is due to the reason that their circulating supply is so high and it's incredibly easy to get your hands onto Dogecoin, not to mention their community has reached hands worldwide or even NBA teams and theaters are using their coins and accepting it as cryptocurrency payments. Now at the circulating supply, if Ethereum Classic were to have the meme Dogecoin's market capitalization, its price point would be just above $270. If it wasn't for the massive lack in volume that Ethereum Classic is currently seeing, we would not be sitting at this market capitalization. But it seems the only individuals holding Ethereum Classic up currently is volume coming from Upbit, OKEK, BW, and Binance, which is volume residing outside the country, outside the US where I am currently residing. The reason being is the increasing dominance of Bitcoin, putting it at a 44.4% of the market share of the entire market, as well as coins that don't deserve the market capitalization that they have been getting due to pumps driven out of fear of missing out. A bright example is Shiba Inu. As a lot of individuals and newly investors are hopping into the cryptocurrency world, they are not seeing the current market capitalization of Shiba Inu. They are paying attention to the price and how cheap it is. 
Now, comparably, they see that Shiba Inu is so low in price compared to the overall cryptocurrency market that it has potential to reach a thousand, that it has potential to reach a dollar, 24 cents, and even $3,000 like Ethereum for an example. Now, this lack of information is eventually going to fix itself as the overall market corrects and money shifts to coins that deserve that market share. Now, the reason being Ethereum Classic deserves this market share and the reason it is currently undervalued and valuable for say is due to the fact that it has a max supply at 210,700,000 coins. Now, why is this important? It's important due to the fact that it cannot be printed like the Federal Reserve Jerome Powell's money printing machine shooting it across signing stimulus packages month by month in the United States of America, raising the capital debt ceiling. This is important due to the reason of inflation. Ethereum Classic eventually will come to a stand hall where it can no longer inflate, making it an extremely scarce coin. On top of that, Ethereum Classic receives a 20% block reduction every 5 million blocks, meaning every 2 years, Ethereum Classic becomes more and more scarce. So the individuals right now who are currently panicking that the price is at $54, if you were to come back 10 years from now, you would laugh at the fact that you were panicking at $54, seeing as Ethereum Classic is way above $1,000. Now back on speaking on the block reduction. Now, miners mine blocks for an incentive, and that incentive is a block reward. You may think with a block reduction, miners will get paid less, ultimately making ETC a less attractive coin to mine, thus reducing the network hash rate due to miners leaving to a different coin. And if the network hash rate reduces, security of the coin overall reduces, making it a less attractive investment and a less attractive deployment for developers. But that's definitely not the case. And what they have in mind for Ethereum Classic, which is this nice article written by Matthew here regarding the emission schedule, it stated that the increasing demand for the Ethereum Classic token will all else being equal increase the price of the ethereum classic token an increase in the price of the token incentivizes mining operations to direct their efforts on the ethereum classic network or to begin operations on the ethereum classic network now an example being yes currently they are receiving 3.2 etc per block reward but those 3.2 etcs are being priced currently at 54 dollars so for an example, they're receiving a little bit above $150 plus some additional fees for mining an entire ETC block. But what if that incentives ends up dropping to 2.2, but that 2.2 is equal to Ethereum Classic at $150 price point? Then for two blocks, they're making $300 which ultimately incentivizes them to continue mining ETC. Now, the additional mining power that is directed towards the network further secures the network. An increase in the security of the network assists in building trust between the network and both current and potential users and developers on this network. This increase of trust in the network provides an incentive for large-scale, high-risk, and high-profile applications to be built and developed on Ethereum Classic. On top of this, Ethereum Classic currently uses a proof of work consensus mechanism, which is necessary for security and prevents fraud, which enables the security ensures that miners can't lie about a transaction. Proof of work is used to securely sequence Ethereum Classic's transaction history while increasing the difficulty of altering data over time. So the more blocks that are mined for Ethereum Classic, the more secure it becomes all in all. The increasing hash rate of Ethereum Classic incentivizes developers to build on the Ethereum Classic blockchain. And the increasing price of Ethereum Classic incentivizes miners to continue mining for Ethereum Classic. So as you can see, it is a win-win situation in the long sense, long investor aspect. But a lot of individuals are looking at the short-term fluctuations of the pricing as Ethereum Classic is at $54 and not moving. Now, I see this as an absolutely great thing because if we look at historical trends without that massive spike, which we received from the short squeeze, if we take a look here at February 20th to February 21st and for Bitcoin as well, 
at February 20th to February 21st, Bitcoin was sitting at the same $54,000 price point levels. But if we take a look at Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Classic was riding around this $14 to $12 price point levels when Bitcoin was at $54,000 levels. So on the other side as well, between May 12th and May 14th, if we go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin was also sitting around these $54,000 levels, but the difference is that we were undergoing a short squeeze, which caused us to sit in a range of $110 to $80. Now, in the middle from $110 to $14, I say Ethereum Classic is boating and holding quite well at these $54 price point ranges. And if you guys didn't see my reason for Ethereum Classic reaching those $250 price point levels, this crossover here on the 50 day end made was extremely bullish but that crossover here only led to a rise of 30 percent i don't believe that is the end of that massive bullish crossover as there is plenty of time for recovery and we do still have two extremely bullish months to come december is going to be an extremely catalyst month for ethereum classic and november is going to be a continuation of this massive bull run that we are seeing for october so all in all have faith as you are currently holding a coin that only increases in value as time goes on. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe for that YouTube algorithm. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.